we changes are. for the yeah, bit changes for the weekend, especially if you want to play pickleball outside. Yeah. Probably don't want to do it tomorrow. I like the mixed doubles, Nicole. Maybe you and I can we be a should team. I think we should figure this out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> and I wonder if you can't figure out a play if then you get in a pickle. Oh, but I'm bum. Thank you. I'll be here all night, <laughs> at least for the next few minutes. All right. What we're tracking uh, into tomorrow. If you're out playing pickleball, playing playing tennis, going to get that running outside, do some yard work. It's going to be a hot day. So maybe earlier in the morning. It's going to be up to 92 for tomorrow. Then as we go into Sunday, changes on the way. So hot Saturday, cooler rainy Sunday. First alert weather day on Sunday because of these changes and some storms in the morning and then those temperatures dropping. Let's walk you through it on the first alert future cast. You will notice the cloud cover increasing for tomorrow. A bit breezy as well tomorrow. It's the best uh, day for the state fair for the weekend. Now here comes the front into the overnight hours. So it looks like the rains might be a little bit more delayed getting here late Saturday night. Might just be on Sunday morning, but here we are five, six, and seven o'clock. Front moving through some scattered showers around for us and some stronger storms possible through the early morning hours going then into the afternoon. A lot of the activity continue to shift its way down to the southeast, but still I'm keeping those rain chances off and on through the day around about 80% mainly for the morning hours, but then off and on through the day, dropping to about a 60% chance for all of North Texas. Then even into late Sunday into Monday, we have that rain around. You notice that the winds here at the surface then towards, turn towards the east into the northeast, tapping into that cool air that's on the way. How much rain can we expect? And it's much needed rain. Well, maybe in some spots a half of an inch near an inch to maybe an inch and a half in some localized spots. I wouldn't be surprised to see some localized flooding because we are so dry. Nothing like the flooding that we saw uh, about a month and a half ago. But still, uh, just keep that in mind as you're going to be making your plans and this big temperature drop on the way. 77 Sunday near midnight dropping through the day. 69 Monday. We'll see 63 Tuesday. And then look at this. As we go into Tuesday afternoon, temperatures low 60s, but then and look into Wednesday morning, low 40s to the upper 30s. You'll need your winter coat then. Where are we sitting right now? We're sitting at 76 degrees with winds out of the south at 8. Overnight tonight, temperatures into the upper 60s to the low 70s. We're going to be seeing then these temperatures at 63 Tuesday, 65 Wednesday after that cold start to the day. But then we rebound nicely by next Friday. Dryer still sticking around. We make it up to 80 degrees after starting out near the low 50s. All right.